here at Hexagon Live. There are a lot of exciting products, and one of those products is the AP20 pole, the new AP20 pole. And joining me is Richard. Richard, what is this pole all about? Well, the AP20, it's all about letting you work without the bubble. It's letting you work more or less without mistakes because you can change your pole height and the instrument knows instantly. You can tilt the pole, measure points, um, where the pole tip is what matters, not where the prism is. So it's really about making your life easier, changing the way you survey, measure more points faster and safer. A lot of surveys have been through here and yeah. they love the AP20. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. Why do you think they love it so much? Because once you've worked in the field, you know the problems that happen in the field. One of the problems is you do change your pole height to measure over a car, to measure through trees. You change in your pole height, and that leaves the opportunity to forget that you changed the pole height, to not enter into the software. When that happens as a mistake, you need to fix that mistake. So as soon as you see that as a surveyor, you, you smile. I mean, you smile, a bit survey geek, you smile and you love it. Then there's the tilted pole. We've all had to move our total station just to measure those last couple of points that we couldn't see because they're around the corner yeah. or they're behind a tree or something. Here with a tilted pole, you don't have to move a total station. You just measure that point by tilting the pole and measuring it. And you smile and you like it and you get excited by it because you just think, this is gonna save me time. I'm gonna use this. It's not a gimmick, it's a feature I'm gonna use regularly. So that's why they like it. Yeah, that really tangible benefit of the solution exactly. is amazing. What about the accuracy? Yeah, I mean, the good thing is that you're not losing accuracy whenever you're, but whenever you're stood upright, you're not losing accuracy. Yeah, of course, there's some degradation as you go closer, um, closer to horizontal, but it's minimal. And the cool thing is, like you expect from the GNSS devices, where we always tell you the quality, we're now doing that with the total station devices because of this, we tell you the quality, so you're in control. And the other thing that I think is great is actually, we're telling you the quality of the pole tip position. For years, we've always, everyone has always known the quality of their measurement to the prism, but that's kind of ignored, the unspoken, it's ignored yeah. whether your bubble's calibrated or not, and it's ignored whether you really did hold it in the middle or not. Now, you're actually getting repeatable, uh, reportable quality of the pole tip. So quality is better in a way because reliability is better. So it's increased. If I'm working with Leica survey equipment, can I simply just purchase the AP20 and start using it straight away? Absolutely right. So the AP20 is compatible with all our latest total stations, so the TS16 and the MS60. So the, the top of the range instruments, the multi-station and total station, they'll work with the AP20. It just needs that as an accessory. It's also true of our Icon range of products as well. Okay, so here we can see inside Leica Captivate, the AP20 is really represented in the 3D viewer. As I wave this pole around, we can see that the total station in the background is still tracking me, and my position is actually updating in real time with that pole, and that's true if I turn it um, completely on its side, it's true if I turn it even upside down, whatever I do is truly represented. So when I store a point, I know it's being stored at the pole tip, no matter whether I'm nearly vertical or if I'm twisted right over. So I'm always able to store it in the same correct location of the pole tip. And the really cool feature, like I mentioned, is pole height. The moment I change that pole height, it's updated in the software. So we see that updating immediately as soon as I change the pole height. And when you put that with the tilt, with the Prism ID feature to make sure that I'm locking to the correct target all the time, we really see a huge number of benefits that will impact the way you work every single day. Richard, who should really look at adopting the AP20 pole? Uh, realistically, anyone that uses a total station or multi-station for measurements, because it just saves time. Uh, how much time it saves depends on the points you're measuring, but it saves time for everyone. So why not look at it? That is true. Now, the AP20 poll is currently available. To find out more, visit likeagsystems.com.